Good day, Melinda Robbins. It's me, Beth. It's Friday. You know what that means. You get another video from, well, me. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas, you know, with your family. I'm sorry I couldn't upload because, like I said, I was spending time with my family. Anyway, today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top gigs of 2017. That's right. I see a lot of bands live and I think nothing beats live music. And I was actually looking back, you know, at some of my tickets that are on the back of my door, in my hand, scattered all around my room. In 2017, I saw, ironically, 17 gigs. So that's like nearly two gigs a month, in my defence. Now I'm thinking back about it, that's a lot of money I spent on tickets, but I had some really good, you know, times and experiences at said gig, so I have no shame. And I thought today I would just share with you guys, you know, my top five. Before we start this video, if you want to support me and the channel, click like and smash that subscribe button because, well, there's nothing stopping you. Let's just dive right in to this top gigs of 2017 video. Coming in at number five is Marmosets. <laughs> ticket I'm holding is from when I saw them in Manchester on October the 22nd. On the back of my door I have the ticket from when I saw them in Liverpool back in August. So yes, I saw Marmosets twice this year. We're in a very short, you know, span of each other because I just feel like they are a band, you know, that deserve so much attention. Yes, they only have one album, but they are releasing, you know, their second album in January next year. I've already pre-ordered the album and I can't wait to see them again on tour. I dragged a friend along, you know, when I saw him in Liverpool. He had never seen the band. He fell in love with the band. And then it was him that actually suggested that we go to Manchester in October to see them again. Now, for me, the Mar Marmosets. I think they put on a much better gig in Liverpool than they did Manchester. I don't know if it's because, you know, it was a slightly smaller venue in, you know, Liverpool and so there was a lot more hype with the audience. But for me, I felt like it was a better show in Liverpool. It was still an amazing show in Manchester because it was a bigger venue with a lot more fans singing along. But I'm a small venue type of gal, so I preferred them in Liverpool. But Marmosets, I saw them twice, they did something right this year. Coming in at number four is A Day to Remember Who. Me, honestly, I know, honestly, who I saw at Leeds First Direct Arena back on the 28th of January. Oh my god, guys, it's the 29th of December on uploading of this video. So technically I saw this band 11 months ago as of yesterday and a day to remember, oh my god, it's they're a band I've always wanted to see live but you know through some means or another whenever they've toured I've been unable to see them but you know me and my flatmate Kate we were like right we both love this band, we've both got the day off work, let's drive to Leeds and you know see them. We were actually seated for this, we didn't do standing but now I know that from other gigs this year that I can survive standing and being in a mosh pit. Next time I see a day to remember I probably you know would go standing but I liked Leeds Arena because the way it was shaped like an amphitheatre it was like in a like a circle so no matter where you were sitting you could see the stage. We were towards the front of the stall so we had a perfect view of the whole stage. They played all our favourite songs and we got a little bit drunk and I have some embarrassing footage somewhere of us attempting to sing All I Want but because I promised Kate I wouldn't put it in this video I'm not going to put it in this video because I'm a good friend and I want her to continue wanting to live with me Coming in at number 3 is Viart is Murder <laughs> On Friday the 6th of October at Manchester, yeah, Manchester Club Academy, which was, you know, the basement academy in the Student Union. They had After the Burial, Oceana and Justice for the Damned opening forum. 
Now for me, I was not ex I knew Vi Art is Murder, you know, they're a heavy band. My my friend who I went with, John, he hadn't he hadn't seen Vi Art, but he'd seen Oceana, who are one of the support bands, and he was like, it's gonna be a heavy show. We were right at the front on the barrier because I'm a small person, so I managed, you know, to elbow my way through. And it was an intense show. All the support bands were amazing, and I became obsessed with Justice for the Damned after listening to them. I have, I went out and I bought all the music because that's what you do, or that's what I do. I also bought a lot of merch that night, so Vyar is murder. I think I bought merch from all the bands minus Oceana because I thought their merch looked pretty shit. Although I do think they are supporting a band I'm seeing next year, so I, if they change their merch I might buy some in 2018. But for me it was the atmosphere. The Club Academy is one of the smaller academies, I think, in Manchester. And it it was heaving. There were mosh pits, you know. I Luckily for me, John was defending me because we were on the cusp of the mosh pit and he was like, you're gonna die, and I'm like, yeah. You know it's a good gig when you wake up the next day and you've got some bruises. That's how you know it's a good gig. Vi Art is murder. Amazing. Coming in at number two is Enter Shikari, who I saw at the Liverpool Olympia on Thursday, the 16th of November. Enter Shikari, again, a band I've always wanted to see live, but through some means or another, I've never got the chance to see them. I went again with my flatmate Kate, and we had an amazing time. Again, because we are very small people, we were managed, you know, to get our way to the... I think we were second row from the front, and I don't really remember <laughs> much about that night other than, you know, everyone being, like, squished together, you know, everyone was, like, moshing, everyone was jumping, they were, like fist pumping, there was like singing along, there were like chants. Again, I woke up with a lot of bruises on my ribs the next day and I had you know, no shame because that's how you know you had a good night. Yes, I do like standing at the back for some gigs, but for most gigs I want to be slap bang in the centre of that mosh pit. They played all my favourite songs, they also played most, they played I think four songs off the Spark album which was their new album and the song sounded amazing live. Enter Shikari have been a band for a good few years now and they never fail to disappoint and I can't wait to see them again at some point in the future. And my number one gig of 2017, if you haven't already told by, you know, the top I'm wearing, him. of 2017. I actually saw them on Saturday the 16th of December at Manchester Academy. They sold out Manchester Academy and there were a lot of people there. I think I had relatively, you know, a good position. I was towards the bar on the side and I managed to not have any tall people stood in front of me, which was good. This was their, like, farewell memoriam tour. You can't tell because I got the shirt in a large. But, you know, it's their memoriam, 1991 to 2017. What upsets me most is I love him as a band, and ironically, the first time I get to ever see him will probably also be the last time I ever see him because, well, it was a farewell tour, they're splitting up, and I'm just like, okay. It was, a, it was an amazing night, you know, they play, it was pretty much a greatest hits tour. They had 21 songs on their set list, and they pretty much chose songs from every album, but pretty much, if you wanted a hymn, Greatest Hits Live, you should have been at this gig. There was a lot of crying towards the end, so many people started crying. I didn't cry because I don't cry at gigs, because I'm like, I don't want to be, I don't want to smudge my eyeliner. But, oh my god, I'm so happy, you know, that I finally got to see one of my favourite bands live.
have it. Those were just my top gigs of 2017 and my honourable mentions. In the comments below, I'd love to hear you know what your favourite gig of 2017 was that you went to. Or did you go to like a festival in 2017? I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. While you're down there, you can check out all the links to my social media because why the hell not? You can also, you know, press like to show me some love and click my face right here to subscribe to the channel because I upload twice a week on a Monday and a Friday. You can check out, I think I've already said this or I haven't, my last two videos or playlists right here. I cannot wait for all the gigs I'm going to see in 2018 and I will see you guys in a year for another top gigs of my 2018. Yeah. I am Beth. Until next week, keep listening to good music. Happy 2017. I hope 2018 is even better. Goodbye.